Welcome to the Dare Model Railroad Club video series. I'm Brian Seip. I'm a volunteer with the Railroad Club and I'm also the president of the Montour Railroad Historical Society. The signature layout at the Railroad Club is a HO scale representation of the Montour Railroad. It is one of the most popular layouts operated by the uh, club members and the Montour Railroad had a significant presence in the history of Peters Township as well. In this episode, let's take a look at the history of the Montour Railroad. The Montour Railroad Company was organized September 10, 1877 as a wholly owned subsidiary of the Imperial Coal Company. All the Montour stock was held by board members of Imperial Coal. Six miles of track were laid between between Coriopolis on the Ohio River, south along Montour Run to the village of Guy's Mills to reach the Cliff Mine. A year later, the North Fayette Railroad Company was incorporated to build five additional miles from Guy's Mills to Valley Presbyterian Church in Imperial. The two railroads were merged, taking the Montour name. A passenger station and shops to service the locomotives were built at Imperial. Later that year, the railroad was extended two more miles through Imperial to the Partridge Mine at North Star. The first Montour locomotive was number two, built in 1879 and lettered as Cliff Mine. Coal shipments from the Cliff Mine to a barge loading facility at Coriopolis started in June of 1879, loading 800 to 1,000 tons of coal per day. In October 1879, a connection was made in Coriopolis with the new Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad, including a station at Montour Junction. Passenger service began with 15 stations along the 12-mile route. A contract to carry U.S. mail was obtained, and the Railroad Express Agency established several shipping offices along the Montour. Milk and farm produce were carried by the Montour. They were transferred at the Montour Junction Station to the PNLE for shipment to markets in Pittsburgh. A second locomotive was purchased in 1880. It was numbered 3 and lettered Partridge Mine. In 1899, the Pittsburgh Coal Company was formed to purchase 140 independent coal mining companies, including Imperial Coal. Thus, the Montour Railroad became property of the Pittsburgh Coal Company. In 1900, a large shop facility was constructed at Montour Junction in Coriopolis. It had an engine house, car shop, warehouse, mechanical shops, storage tracks, offices, and a scale to weigh outgoing coal shipments. The original shops in Imperial were then closed. In the early 1900s, coal traffic increased and more powerful locomotives were needed. Ten used consolidation type locomotives were bought from the PNLE and the Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroads. By 1912, it was determined that the coal mines then served by the Montour would begin to be depleted and the coal company planned to extend the railroad into new areas with untapped coal reserves. In October 1912, the North Star and Mifflin Railroad Company was organized and they built a 34-mile extension around the south and east of Pittsburgh to serve new coal mines. It was merged into the Montour at the end of 1912. The extension ran to a connection with the Wabash Terminal West Side Belt Railroad in Bethel Park. It included trackage rights to meet the Union Railroad at Mifflin Junction where the Bessemer and Lake Erie also maintained a connection. This construction included three tunnels and over 50 bridges. Construction ran through 1914, with operations beginning in February of 1915. Several new mines along the route were opened between 1914 and 1921. Increased coal tonnage from the new mines meant more powerful locomotives were needed. 16 new Mikado types were purchased in 1915 and 16. 
and an additional nine used locomotives were then purchased from several other railroads. In 1918, two miles of the library branch were built to access Montour Mine No. 10 in library. Eleven years later, the library branch was extended to an interchange with the Baltimore and Ohio at Snowden in South Park, giving the Montour interchanges with five major railroads. The Two Mile Muse branch was constructed in 1921 to reach the National Mining Company Mine No. 3 at Muse, which operated until 1951. After this mine closed, a chemical and solvent reclamation company leased some of the original mine buildings and operated there for 30 more years. A half mile of track called the Midland Spur was added in 1922 at Gilmore Junction along Southview Road to reach the Morris Mine. Five years later, the branch was extended another four miles to the Westland No. 1 Mine. The Montour replaced a Pennsylvania Railroad branch coming out of Houston, PA to ship Westland coal. The coal company thus used their wholly owned railroad instead of paying the Pennsylvania Railroad to ship Westland coal. At its peak of operations, the Montour owned about 55 miles of track. 43 miles of main line ran from Coriopolis to Bethel Park, plus about 10 miles included in the branch lines to Westland, Muse, and Library, plus a couple more miles of spurs and connections into the various mines. In the mid-1920s, several realignment projects were undertaken on the original 12 miles of the Montour to eliminate some sharp curves and other problem areas. This bridge was moved to a new position from its original stone piers which can be seen in the background. About a half mile of original track was eliminated by these new alignments, and another half mile was saved by boring a new tunnel at Jeffreytown, which is also called Enlo, at about mile eight outside of Imperial. In 1927, passenger service was declining and its equipment was worn out and needed replacement. Thus, a decision was made to end passenger service and the Montour became strictly a coal and freight operation, heavily weighted towards the movement of coal. The Champion Preparation Plant was built in 1928 it was designed to clean and prepare 13,000 tons of coal a day. Previously, coal was cleaned and sorted at each of the mines and loaded into hoppers for shipment. Champion received coal from all the Pittsburgh Coal Company mines and processed it to strict specifications for final shipment to customers. Hoppers from several railroads were loaded at the mines and shuttled to Champion where the coal was unloaded then processed and reloaded into hoppers for final shipment. World War II saw a greatly increased production of coal. Some Montour cars were lettered with the slogan, Coal Goes to War. June 1945 saw over 300,000 tons of coal processed at Champion. Also in 1945, the Pittsburgh Coal Company was merged with the Consolidation Coal Company. After the end of World War II, in December of 1946, the Consolidation Coal Company sold the Montour Railroad to a joint ownership by the Pennsylvania and P&LE Railroads. One of the arrangements was that each of the parent railroads would operate the Montour for six months at a time. The management of the Montour would switch back and forth between the Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroads. The Montour entered the diesel era in 1950 when it purchased three electromotive locomotives. Twelve more diesels were bought in 1952 and 53. The steam era ended in 1952 as the last steam locomotives were retired from service and either sold or scrapped. By the 1950s, several of the coal mines had been played out and closed the Montour went into a slow decline. In April 1975, the Pennsylvania Railroad's successor, Penn Central, went into bankruptcy and sold its half of the Montour to the P&LE, 
giving the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie sole ownership. But with declining traffic, the PNLE began to close down operations on the eastern end of the Montour and switched this traffic over to its own rails. Abandonment of several sections of the Montour took place over a period between 1975 and 1982. The interchange with the Union Railroad at Mifflin Junction was terminated in 1975, as was the interchange at Salida with the Norfolk and Western, and also at Snowden with the B&O. Montour Mine No. 10 and Library was closed during the 1960s, but then reopened in 1970 to recover its high-grade metallurgical coal. But by 1978, the PNLE refused to send trains to No. 10 due to the poor condition of the track, and the library branch was completely abandoned. Montour Mine No. 4 in Peters Township had been shipping coal on the Montour for 65 years when a barrier with an adjacent mine failed in 1980, causing catastrophic flooding of the mine. Number four was closed and the coal shaft was sealed shut. Ten miles of track from Thompsonville to Gilmore Junction, including the Muse Branch, were closed at the end of 1980 and then petitioned for abandonment in 1982. In 1981 and 82, the original diesels were retired and sold. After this time, locomotives from the PNLE were used to provide power on all Montour trains. Tests were done using bigger locomotives, but it was found that these engines would only increase trains by a few cars at a much higher cost. Westland was the last remaining mine shipping coal on the Montour. In March of 1983, the last coal was shipped from Westland. The 55-year-old Champion Preparation Plant needed a major overhaul at this time, but the amount of coal traffic would not support the cost needed to update the plant. Champion was closed in November of 1983, and with no further traffic, the final 22 miles of track from Montour Junction to Westland was petitioned for abandonment in August of 1985. The final Montour Railroad train crew was called on duty November 1, 1984 to remove several cars loaded with miscellaneous equipment from the shops and yard at Montour Junction. The final abandonment of the Montour Railroad Company took effect May 22, 1986, and the remaining rails were pulled up during that summer. After a century of operations, the Montour Railroad was gone. In 1991, large portions of the abandoned Montour right-of-way were acquired by the nonprofit Montour Trail Council to launch a 50-mile recreational trail project. Over 45 miles have been completed and progress continues to fill in a few gaps remaining in the trail system. There are 35 miles of continuous trail from Coriopolis to South Park and more mileage has been added along the former Pennsylvania Railroad Peters Creek branch between South Park and Clareton, which connects the trail to the Great Allegheny Passage, which can take trail users all the way to Washington, D.C. For more on the Montour Railroad, artifacts and displays can be seen at the Montour History Room, located at the Venetia Community Center. The room is open whenever the Dare Model Railroad Club is in session, on Wednesdays from 3 to 6, and Saturdays from 9 to noon.